this book because I can find some children's books. See if I'm out with my friends, I'm a little tipsy. Y'all will ask me something and I might talk to y'all like y'all my friends and say a little bit too much that maybe shouldn't be said because now it's going to live on YouTube forever or it's going to live on Instagram forever, wherever it's going to live at, right? But at the end of the day, if, if, I'm, if I'm dating somebody, this has nothing to do with social media, reality TV, nothing. This is me in the, this is me, right? Me being me, 100%. Hey, I'm pulling up right now. This is me. I'm not even on my phone like that when I go on dates, right? So if I'm on a date with you and I tell you, hey, I just got out of something. I'm not looking for, for nothing serious or I'm not ready for nothing serious because I'm probably going to go back with my ex that I broke up with two weeks ago. Man, I'm tired of y'all coming for me i'm tired of the dating pool coming for me like i'm the problem it's not me it's you if you go on a date with somebody right and this go for anybody second date third date fourth date fifth date i don't care how many dates you go on with them if every time you on that date they tell you hey i'm not ready for anything serious let me tell you something, right? My glasses are off, right? I can't really see like that. And I'm putting them back on for you so I can see you and I can let you know. If somebody is telling you that, run. And even if you don't want to run, beware, right? And, and, and every time, right? The only reason that is bothering me is because this person has went online about me. So once you go online about me, I know you're gonna go to, you're gonna do something. You're gonna do something drastic, right? And then she texted me and said, I'm gonna bug out like you want me to. Watch this, right? That's what she said. Watch this. Watch this. I don't really care. Because my thing is, dating is just what that is. Dating. I never said. I was going to be with you. I never sold you a dream. I never said I want you to meet my mama. I never said, like, what? I'm confused. What do y'all want from me? Every time we went on a date, I told you, I don't want nothing serious. I just got out of a serious relationship, right? So for you to get online and say, Tammy raised a bitch, well, where did your baby raise? What did she raise? And I'm going to take my glasses off again and put them back on for you because what did your mama raise? What did she raise? Because every time we went on a date, I told you. This don't even feel right. I'm like, this is so weird, right? I, every time I'm saying to you, I'm speaking of my ex every time to the point we on a date, I show you my ex's name tatted on me. If that's not the biggest red flag, whoo, I wish I would be on a date with somebody and they show me their ex name tatted on them. I'm getting drunk, y'all, and I'm just showing I miss my ex. I love my ex. This is what I'm saying on the dates. So if now... And now I go to a, my, me and my girl booking. I never wanted that, though. Look at this, though, y'all. This the kicker. Bro, this the kicker. I'm about to get y'all real quick, though. I'm going to take off my glasses again. And a lot of y'all who don't know me like that don't know I cannot see without my glasses, right? So sometimes when I perform and things like that, I won't even wear my glasses, my contacts, nothing, because I can't see. It's really like blurs right now. It's a blur. But somebody made that little comment. And said, oh, cause you wanted, you want, you wanted ass, right? I'm about to hit y'all with this real quick. We didn't even have sex. We didn't even have sex. Never. I said, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Right? I said that. So, I'm so confused. How did I play you? 
I never got nothing from you. I never got nothing from you. Ever. What did I get from you? Drinks? Every time we went out, I got the drinks. I got the drinks. I'm so confused. We hung out a couple times. I got drinks. I told you, hey, I don't want any, any sexual relations with you. You know why I said that? Because I knew in a week I was going to see my ex, right? Come on. I'm going to see my ex. And one thing I don't play with, I'm never going to lay with. If I'm laying with somebody, I ain't laying with somebody else. They're nasty. It's 2023. We got new strands of everything. Let's be honest. We got new strands of herpes. We got new strands of COVID. We got new strands. No, no, no. You ain't about to catch me with none of that. Right? I told the girl, I said, I don't want anything sexual with you. So what? how did I play you? That's why I'm so confused. I would tell her, I would say, I don't want to do anything sexual because I don't know what me and my ex doing. But Tammy raised a bitch. And that's why I'm mad. Because for you to go online and say that about me, First off, you put my mama in stuff. My mama don't even know you. She's never going to know you. Second off, you don't even know my mama like that to even say her name. And third off, how she raised, how, how did she raise a bitch? When, when that bitch was transparent with you from the beginning. That's crazy to me. So, no, but, but three weeks broken up, right? Three weeks broken up. I told Sway, I said, hey, whatever you want to do in these three weeks, whatever you want to do in these three weeks, go be free because we may need to take space to the point that we can find, we may find somebody new. And if that's the risk I take, if that's the chance I take that I've let you out into the world and now you have somebody else on your line who is, is sweeping you off your feet, guess what? I have to eat that. I have to eat that, right? So I told her that. And what did she do? She told me the same thing. So I went on one day, one day, and I wish I never did it. Y'all make me regret it every time. Y'all make me regret it every time, bro, every time. Because I'm like, y'all paint this picture. Oh, this what the, this what she said. Um, uh, I'm not, I don't do the drama. I'm, I'm not in the drama. Well, you look like drama to me, sis. And second off, second off, when I said, I don't even want to speak on that. Me and, me and Sway have both done things to each other that's not right. I'm going to put it like that. But laying down with somebody, no. And, and I stand on that. So my thing is, if I choose, this ain't even my car. You know who calling me right now? I'm in Sway's car. This ain't even my car. I'm not even driving my car. I'm driving my girl's car, right? So my thing is when I say we ain't together, bro, we as together as could be together, right? But we know at the same time, we both have things we need to work on. I need to go to therapy. I need to, there's a lot of things that I have to do in my life to better myself. There's a lot of things that she's doing now to better herself so that she can be better for me. But are we technically in a relationship? No. But at the same time, we're not in a relationship. But at the same time, she knows she can't go sleep with nobody. I know I can't go sleep with nobody now. And really, the texting is pushing it. I'm going to be honest. We, we, we text. She tells me stuff. She DM. Boom. She like, man, I didn't feel right, Jazz. Like, I, I can't even be without, like... I don't want to be without you. I'm like, I don't want to be without you. Like, I'm texting. I'm going on dates. And I don't want none of them. I'm sitting there talking about you the whole time. Right? So, it's one of those things of, like, we both have things we have to work on. So, right now, we're just in a space where we're just trying to grow independently and grow together. So, when we were broken up for those three weeks, y'all know we were just in L.A. We was in L.A., what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago? Caked up. 
we ended up splitting. We ended up saying, hey, let's maybe this is to, to a situation that I'm not even going to go in depth about. But there was something that I was uncomfortable with. She was uncomfortable with. It was, it was something that we knew was not right for a relationship. So we said, hey, let's just take some breaks. If you want to go on a date, go on a date. But if you if you get that urge to say, hey, Jazz, I want to be sexually, I want to be sexually active with this person. Yeah. I still use words like that. I still say things like that because in, in relationships, we have to be transparent about things. So I say, hey, if, if you want to be sexual with this person, let me know because then I do have to take myself out of the equation because I'm big on that. You can't sleep with me and then sleep with five other people. Same way I would never sleep with her and sleep with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people, right? So my thing is when I went on these, when I went on this one date, y'all, one date, I wish I never did it. Y'all remember that song BT called Hell Date? I feel like I went on a hell date. Because at the time, I enjoyed it, right? And I told Sway that. I said, very nice girl. Very nice girl. But the fact that you're online acting um, irrational, I can't rock with you now. Right? I can't rock with that. Like, because it's, it, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me. How you go from hot to cold, and now it's oh I can I can blast you. How you how you ever gonna blast me? You can't blast me. <laughs> I can't be blasted because Sway know everything, right? Right? Sway know everything, and I it's so it's so much greater on my conscience, being that you told me. Oh, I want to do this with you. And I never did it with you. And you know why I didn't do it with you? Because I knew this was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. So, my biggest thing is, y'all would never know the person I'm speaking about because she doesn't deserve that. She don't deserve that because, and the reason why I'm not giving you that, I would have given you that, really. Well, no, I apologize. They would have never known who you were. I told you that as well. I told you. If me and Sway don't work out, I'm never getting in another public relationship again. If I get in another public relationship, 9 times out of 10, it's going to be with a man. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all would never see me with another woman. And I stand on that. Y'all would never see me with another woman. If y'all see me in another relationship, it's going to be a man. Right? I told her that. So the fact that, right, I told her, public, me and public relationships will never be again after Sway. If me and Sway don't work, I'm done. With women, posting women online, I just, I just am. So, no, it's not about the girl, though. But she not deserve. But but this is my thing though. I would have never spoke on her. I would have never spoke on her. I would have never spoke on her. It's the fact that I'm minding my business. I'm in Oakland. I'm posting my ex, whatever. And she want to get online and say Tammy raised a bitch. And I'm bothered by that because I'm confused as to who. Who is the bitch? It's not me. Can't be me. Can't be. That's the only reason I spoke on it, right? And then to come behind it and say, oh, you want me to wild out on you? Watch this. Go ahead. Go wild out on me. I don't care. Like, it's nothing nobody can say to me. You can't expose me in text messages. Because, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. You were sending me things I didn't even ask for. And we're going to leave it at that. So, you can't expose me in text messages. I never sent you nothing. Never sent you nothing provocative. Never said nothing provocative. Never. I'm, I, I, that's just not me. I'm the type of person I hate texting. I'm going to be honest. I hate texting. I'm not a texter. I feel like that's high school. I'm 27 now. I be like, the only thing, what I'm going to text is pull up. I, I send you some dinner reservations. I say, this is where I'm at. 
I would love for you to come with me. Let's go have some drinks. Let's go have some fun. Pull up. That's about as much as you're going to get from me. But I'm not, I, I really don't text all day. I think that's weird. I'm, I'm a grown woman. I be out, I be out handling business. I really only text my mom like that. When I was, when me and Sway together, I text her. If she want to text, I text her. But I don't, I don't text like that. So, but how was I doing too much though? This is crazy. This is crazy. How did I do too much? I don't, bro, I don't send no invisible pics. You know why? I don't send invisible pics because I don't send invisible pics because people, I'm not the, people will try to expose me. People will try to expose me. So I'm the type I learn. I really don't want to text like that. Cause when some get, when some get in the jam like that, you're going to try to expose me. If something don't go your way, you're going to try to expose me. If I don't give you what you want, you're going to try to expose me. And I don't send pictures like that because I'm too grown for that. I don't really send, I've not, I haven't, I don't send like, I don't send stuff like that. When I'm in a relationship with somebody, of course, that's, that's my love. Whatever we do, we do. Whatever we do, we do. But with somebody I'm going on a date with, somebody I know, somebody I'm, I'm not giving no, uh, I'm, the only reason, <laughs> y'all know I don't even go on live. The only reason I'm going, the only reason I'm giving this attention, the only reason I'm giving this attention is because it was brought to my attention that I'm being bad mouth. Right? No, this the last time I'm giving it to her though. I already blocked her. So I don't care. I already blocked it's already. Like I don't I'm I don't be mad. And it make people mad that I'm not mad. And that's what I said. I'm like It's not even it's not it's not no look, it's not even about um what's the word? Her. It's not even about the girl. It's more about the fact of dating in general. Because somebody told me dating in 2023 was easy. And y'all done lied to me. Because I went on one date and the girl acted like I done sold her a dream and said I was going to be with her forever. And now I ain't, I didn't keep my word. Sending me voice notes crying. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? The only reason, I, the only reason I'm, I'm hard on you, because you were hard on me. I would have paid you dust. I would have never spoke on you again. I promise. Because I don't speak on something that, that don't hold weight in my life. So much holds weight in my life. In terms of family, my girl, my girl's family. There's certain things that are in my life that mean a lot to me that I prioritize those. God, you was never in that lineup. So for me, it was one of those things of, I was going to pay you, I was going to pay you dust. I was going to let you have it and just chalk it up to the fact that you a crazy woman from Miami, right? And I was going to leave it at that. But once you once, once you come, once you took it to the internet, now I feel like I know what's next. I've been here before. I've been here. You haven't been here. I've been here before. Once they take it to the internet, Oh, it's about to be on the blog. It's about to be somewhere that it don't got no business being. Our conversations have no business being. I already know what come next. So I don't be, I don't get frightened. I don't panic. I just said, you know what? Bro, <laughs> I said, you know what? I said, uh, let me just go tell, let me just tell Sway real quick. That's all I said. You, you, you showed your hand. When you did that, I knew you were about to show your hand. I knew you were about to make a fool of yourself. So I said, you know what? Let me go tell Sway real quick. I gave Sway the whole rundown. I showed Sway what you look like. You know what I'm saying? I don't be pressed. I don't be worried. I'm never worried. So my thing is this. No, I'm, I'm about to go pick something up. Y'all so y'all be showing my business. Uh Y'all would never know the girl, right? Because she don't hold enough weight in my life. This is somebody... The only way y'all gonna know is if she go to a blog. And I told her, I said, I don't really care what you do. I don't really care. So, I just wanted to nip that in the butt. Hey. For real, though.
No, this what I'm saying though. This what I want to tell y'all in relate in dating, and, and I didn't know because I don't date, right? I'm gonna I'm give y'all some tea, right? Some about me that I speak about a lot in podcasts and things like that. No, no, no. It's not about uh, it's not about a new topic, right? If it's a new topic for you, I'm not trying to be rude, but you can get off because I'm not I'm not speaking to the I'm not speaking to the girl no more. I don't care about her. I'm speaking to dating, right? And at a certain when when this is what I learned. Nobody nobody belongs to you. <laughs> it's these roads out here, I swear. No, it's these roads out here. Nobody belongs to you, especially not in the dating world. When you are dating somebody, but y'all got me, y'all got me, uh, oh, y'all tripping, it's the roads, y'all tripping. When, uh, when you are dating somebody, I had to check the tire pressure, y'all got me scared now. When you're dating somebody, they don't, and even in a relationship, nobody belongs to you. And that's something you have to remember. So if I, if I want to, um, she doesn't though, right? She doesn't. If your girl go, okay. If you tell your girl not to do something, she go and do it. That prove or not, or maybe something that you wouldn't approve of. Maybe it's not necessarily a thing of like, I blatantly told you not to do that and you did it, but maybe something that you just think is questionable. You know what that tells you? What do, what do I need Vaseline on? You know what that tells you? She don't belong to you. Because if somebody belongs to you, there's anything you could tell them, they're going to do it. And that's what I had to learn about relationships, right? Me and Sway have gotten so much better once we started to realize that we are both our own women. We are individual women. They don't, though. We're our individual women. We want to continue to respect each other. It's about respect. It's not about belonging. You don't own anybody. But if you respect somebody, you'll give them enough decency to not do things. And that's where I'm at in my relationship. She doesn't own me. I do what I want to do. I'm not... How am I drunk driving? Like, y'all... 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 Um, I'm, y'all are crazy. I'm not... I'm in no way drunk driving. There's nothing... In, this, is, this is not even my car. It's not even my car. Um, I'm really, I'm really trying to help y'all, and y'all y'all be be being dumb. That's why I don't y'all be saying dumb stuff sometimes, and I, I really block you for that. And actually, I'm gonna block you because you 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 tag my mom saying I'm drunk I'm drunk and I'm driving when I'm not in any in any um in any form. So you're blocked. You're blocked. Um, I'm gonna block a sweet day. So look. When you're in a relationship with somebody, there's certain things that they're not going to do because they respect you. And that's what, first off, it's, it, never mind. And um, that's what me and Sway had to realize, you know, because once you get in a relationship, you do feel like, well, you're mine. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do this. Don't do that. But let's be honest. I'm 27. Sway is um, 33. So there's certain things that we're kind of already set in our ways about. If if I go out every Friday night with my friends and I was doing that before I met her, I'm probably going to do that when I'm with her. But I'll say, look, now that I'm doing this and I'm in a relationship with you, maybe I won't go to this bar anymore because I used to talk to somebody at this bar. Maybe I won't be out until 2 a.m. Maybe I'll be out until 12. There's certain things that you respect. You don't own anybody. And what, what dating really showed me when I was dating for these two, three weeks, well, I don't even want to consider it dating because it's like hell on earth. I don't see how people who are single out here. It's hell on earth. And I don't want to, this dating pool is a cesspool. And I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, how I don't understand how you could be I don't understand right my friends told me dating is you 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 go on dates you you have fun and then you pick who you I didn't get a chance to I didn't I pick I picked the person that I was with for a year and something about me is I've been in I've been in relationships since I was 16 years old right and this is why I speak about a lot on podcasts and things like that and this is why I do feel like 
a lot of people before they get into relationships, they do need to heal. There are steps that you need to take. I am what is considered a serial dater. I love relationships. So uh, when I was 16, I was in my first relationship. And I kid you not, I've been in a relationship ever since. Not with the same person, though. Four different people since 16 to 27. So what I always tell people is, obviously, that's not healthy. But at the same time, I can realize I'm a person that, that, that craves relationships. I love being in relationships. I love being committed. The dating world don't, the, the dating world, once I got in that dating world, I said, I was like, oh, yikes. Because the dating world now, 2023, they make you feel like you go on two dates with them and you need to belong to, to them. It don't work like that. I'm the type of person, if, 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 if by the third date, the second, third date, I don't tell you, I see a future with you, just move, move around because it's, it's going to be, it's going to be nothing. I know what I want. I know what I want the moment I sit down with you and I'm looking at you and I'm, I'm, and I'm having my first date with you. I know I'm like, okay, you're, we're either going to be a relationship. We're going to be best friends. We're going to, uh, I don't do F buddies no more. I don't do that stuff. Like people is too grown for that. Slick. What's up? So it's just one of those things of, I don't, I don't even want to, uh, cause y'all, uh, are you saying my lips dry? Hey, I don't want to, um, people try to rush a relationship, right? And one thing I want a lot of people to know is my relationships are very valuable to me, regardless if they end horribly. When, when I'm in a, when I'm in a relationship with you, I love you. So if I'm out of that relationship and I'm healing, anybody I go on that date with, I'm automatically already going to compare you to that person. So it's one of those things of like, you have to give people time to heal. Y'all be trying to rush relationships and I don't like that. And I, I guess I'm just speaking on the fact of like, I didn't know it was like this out here. Cause I ain't really been out like that in a year. And for that girl to act like that, just kind of, uh, just put a bad taste in my mouth, you know? So. I just wanted to uh, get on here uh, while I'm running my errands and uh, just basically say like, there's nothing you could, there's nothing you could ever do to to expose me or make me feel bad. So I'm about to, I'm about to, uh, I'm about to get off this, but I just wanted to clarify that for anybody who watching my page or whatever y'all be doing and oh i'm a i'm a dm sway i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that please do it i want you to do it i want you to do it so we can laugh at you so we can laugh at you together and uh who's single you just you just you just you just miss you just missed the whole live you just you not paying attention man That's what I'm saying. Too many people, right? Too many people want to be relevant. But that's never my mission. That's never my mission. Ever. I don't care to be relevant. I care to make money. It's a difference. I ain't think it was a fan. I ain't, I ain't even think it, I didn't even think it was a fan. Because, uh... I don't got what I want. I don't have no, um... Crying after two weeks is crazy. Was was on the voice note, y'all. Voice shaking. And I'm like... Oh, here they go. And I'm like... I'm like, why your voice like... I'm like, dang, I, I got you crying like after two weeks? We hung out maybe four times? Two to four times? Like, wow. That's crazy to me. Excuse me. I just want this. I'm going to get this.
<laughs> That's not me though. She did it to me first. No look. My bad, y'all. No, I'm I'm learning that though. I like, dang. I'm like, thank you. I'm like. I'm like, yo, I took you to get drinks. I didn't even have sex with you, and you crying on my phone? God, my, my mouthpiece must be crazy then. My, my talking game is crazy. If I got you crying after drinks, and I didn't have sex with you? That's crazy. I've never... I ne I wouldn't have felt the way though because I told her I, I told her there's I told her I said I said there's a possibility I said there's a very high possibility that's what I'm saying I'm like oh I took you for a green tea shot shot I took you for green tea shots coronas and, and you're crying on my phone literally when I was like hey I'm like I don't want to do nothing sexual with you. I told you that. I knew, my thing was, I knew I didn't want to do nothing sexual because I was seeing Sway a week after, a week after that. A week after that. We wouldn't still be talking, though. We wouldn't still be talking, though. How you gonna tell me who I would still be talking to? We wouldn't still be talking, though. Because you know why? Hey, I don't want nobody from Miami. Please. Nobody from Miami. Now I got a bad taste in my mouth. Y'all crazy. I wasn't though. I'm about to go home to Sway right now. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I'm telling you, if I'm telling you, if I'm telling you, I just got out of something. No, we was never getting married. Um, That's all I'm saying. I think. <laughs> I think. I think we just had a lot of fun, and I can admit that. I was like, I guess I gave her the time of her life, and I'll accept that because it was a fun. It was a fun week. Like I'm not gonna cap, but I was just like, dang, like I ain't, I, I ain't giving it all that though. And the only reason I'm doing this is because she went online about me first. So that's what I said. I was like. I was like, I said, oh, yeah, I said, no, that's not, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about Sway. I would never, first off, first off, I would never tell y'all if Sway was ever crying on my phone. Like, nobody, y'all already know that. A week. <laughs> A week. Wherever you want to go in Houston, I'm going to take you in Houston. <laughs> we're going to be lit. We're going to turn up. We're going to have fun. I'm fun. But, hey, man, please, y'all got to learn how to master y'all emotions. That's that's how you going to, um, that's how you grow. <laughs> That's how you grow, man. You gotta master your emotions, and you really just gotta. Uh... I don't think I'm being mean. I don't 
don't think I'm being mean at all. Now I'll be mean. She had that one for her life. I'm like, <laughs> hey, we were everywhere in the city, I guess. Like, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I was that fun. I swear I didn't drive. I'm like, man, I can't even go. <laughs> I can't even go have fun no more. I can't even go have fun no more. Because, obviously, I'm having too much fun. And, man. Ah, man, y'all got me weak. Because I'm like, wow. Like, a week of fun. Right? A week of fun is not going to have me online talking bad about somebody. I'm just going to charge it to the game. I'm going to be like, wow, like, okay, you did that. You did that, right? You missed the tea, man. You got to catch it later because I'm, I'm, I'm about to go home. Well, I'm not home right now. But I'm about to go see my, I'm about to see my girl. Like, that's why I'm so, like, I'm flabbergasted because I'm like, you... I'm just flabbergasted. I guess I'm flabbergasted, for real. I've never been in no situation like this. Usually when I... But that's... But that, but look, my thing is, I never... And this is why I told my other friend. I said, so you're telling me... Nobody told me this, right? You're telling me that if you date somebody, you're on a couple dates with them, they expect sex from you? Where they do that at? I've never went on a date with somebody and expected sex from them. Never! Me and Sway, we went on dates for a month. A month. 30 days. We never did nothing. Because our vibe was just so energetic. I never asked for nothing. She never asked for nothing sexually. We don't, when you're enjoying somebody's company, you don't, you're not thinking about sex. That's not a, that's not a, that's not the main focus, right? So if I say, hey, I want to take you on a date. I take you on a date. I take you on two dates. I take you on three dates. Please don't ever look at me and be like, I'm expecting something from you. I'm the type of person, I love a great conversation. And I love I love to have a good drink. That's one thing about me. I'm going to have me a good drink. So... The fact that we hung out for a month and you expected me to give up the goody snacks? The goods? I'm so happy I didn't give up the goods, y'all. It would have been worse. It would have been worse. It would have been worse. That's not misleading, though. And that's the problem. That's what my friend said. Oh, you, you, you misled her. Hi, misled her. I never told her that there was nothing going to happen between us ever. If you're expecting something from me because I take you on a date. First off, you ain't even paying for the date. I should be the one like, well, since I'm paying for it, I need something. I never did that because I don't care. You get your shots. I get my shots. We chop it up. You go home. I go home. I see you when I see you. I'm not a, I'm not a thirst bucket. I don't care. And really, I don't care because I had just got out of a relationship. Y'all crazy. Y'all got y'all can't be going on these dates like that and letting people tell you they expect something, but thinking you owe somebody something just because somebody pay for your meal or just because you sitting in somebody's face. That's not how that work. It's not how that work. I like my boundaries. I love them. I love my boundaries, and I'm gonna tell you, hey. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. You know what I mean? It, it's nothing more than that. I promise. It's nothing more. Yeah, I'm going to I, turn out the wrong street talking to y'all. But how that's playing with emotions, though? Why is that art? Why do y'all at y'all big age think that dates revolve around sex? Dates don't revolve around sex for me. 
It never has. It never has. And it never will. That's what I'm saying. We took a break. They still revolve around sex with me. I don't care about sex. Sex is everywhere. Literally. I'm just saying. An example. You can pay for sex. I have don't flip my word. I never pay whatever. Whatever y'all about to be doing the most. You can pay for sex. In 2023, you can pay for sex. A man can pay for sex. A woman can pay for sex. Anybody can pay for sex. Sex does not... I don't care about sex. Can you have sex with my mind? Can you talk? Can you hold a conversation with me? Can I talk to you about politics and then go ahead and talk to you about the hottest rap song and then go ahead and talk to you about... uh, I don't know. I just want every scope of things. That's the type of person I am. So when I go on a date, I'm looking to see where your head at. What are your goals? What do you want to do in life? Like, you've been doing this for five years. What do you plan on doing after this? That's me. So when I'm when I go on a date, I don't care if you take me to a hotel room and I got shots with you in a hotel room. I never said I was giving you sex. And I stand on that. So nothing's going to make me feel bad about that. Nothing's going to make me feel bad about that. Y'all got to, y'all got to, uh, y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop, uh, y'all got to stop letting things slide that, that really don't slide like that. If I'm dating, because, right? No, but if, but, but dating, but, but the problem is at her topic, a date is to get to know somebody. A, <laughs> a date is to get to know somebody. A date is to get to know somebody. I never, that's not playing with somebody's emotions. This, but that's not getting in your head to say, where are you from? What do you like to do? What are your interests? What are your... It's because y'all going on these dates and people throwing throwing money at you and saying, okay, now you got to go have sex with me. I don't really care about that. So my thing is, you can put me in any type of setting and I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to say, well, I'm not having sex with you, but we can definitely have a great conversation. We could order drinks. We could order shots. We can get drunk. But guess what? When I hit my limit, I'm getting in my car and I'm going home. That just is what it is. And you please do the same. Because you can't sleep with me. All right. Well, if y'all think that, I take that. But it doesn't really affect me because I'm where I was going to be anyway, which is what I said. So I really hope, matter of fact, I hope that she do see this live. I hope somebody sent her the live. And I hope she knows to never act like this with somebody again. Ever. If somebody takes you on dates... Enjoy them them for the moment you have them. Enjoy them for what it is. That's what I'm saying, Shay. But I'm just about to wrap this up, right? For anybody out there, specifically to you, ma'am, because I know you'll see this or somebody will show you this or somebody will send you this or you're gonna you're gonna I don't know, however you get it to me, give me give me the message that I no longer care about. When you go on dates with somebody, that's exactly what it is. It's a date. You get to know somebody. Don't expect nothing from them. And if they're transparent with you, appreciate that transparency. Because a lot of people is not transparent enough today. And yes, I had a great time in Oakland. We're going to post videos. We're going to post pictures. Sway looked amazing. We did um, our song, Ski Yee. We did the remix that we did, Ski the remix. And uh, it was great. It was a great crowd, great audience, all that. So I was very excited about that, just to see, you know, Sway shining like that. So anyway, I might get back on here later with Sway before I leave. But that's about it, okay? That's a wrap. And uh, if anybody got something to say to me, don't DM me because I don't check them anyway.